So many people have been coming out to expose Kevin Hart and accuse him of deliberately sabotaging the careers of black artists for his personal gain. There has been a lot of talk in the past about how Kevin doesn't play fair, but in the past couple of months, several black celebs have come out to straight up accuse Kevin of sabotaging careers like Cat Williams and Monique. Child, even Eddie Murphy is throwing shade at Kevin. Everyone knows that Eddie Murphy is a stand-up guy who just loves nothing more than to make people laugh and mind his business. He is not known for being messy, so him putting Kevin Kevin on blast just puts into perspective how bad the situation is. But did Kevin really try to steal movie roles from Eddie and set him up? Let's break it down. Okay, so Kevin Hart has been on the outs with several black artists over him, backstabbing them, and one of such artists is Cat Williams. Unlike Eddie Murphy, Cat has never had a problem with calling out bad behavior, and he has certainly not shied away from calling out Kevin Hart. According to Cat, Kevin allegedly has a habit of sneaking around behind his back to steal some movie roles from him. Not only that, but Cat also hinted that Kevin sold his soul to the industry and has been engaging in some shady practices that Kevin himself swore that he would never do. For example, Kevin used to swear up and down that he would never wear a dress because he found it humiliating. But the next thing we knew, he was on SNL wearing a dress. Key hominem. <laughs> this, of course, translates from the Latin to who demand. Ego sum hominem. <laughs> Which means I'm demand. <laughs> And the arm. Cat found this weird, and he talked about this in an interview. Now, Cat wasn't mean in the interview because he spoke about how black men were often under a lot of pressure from the industry to do weird things like wearing dresses. So he wasn't going to blame Kevin for wearing the dress. I'm saying, um, at the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are gonna say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm saying, why are we picking on poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn next. He went on to add that even he had been a victim of this and that his career had been held back because he wasn't willing to play by the messy rules. Some of us are against the Illuminati and we are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. Mm. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them and nobody likes them. So during the interview, Kat didn't throw shade or diss Kevin at all. He kind of just gave props to Kevin for hustling in Hollywood's tough scene. But Kevin took it totally the wrong way and decided to go off on Kat. On The Breakfast Club, Kevin straight up called Kat a liar and said he's addicted to the hard stuff. And that's why he never made it big. Kevin was capitalizing on the rumors about Kat's alleged substance use and he claimed that Kat's whole career went down the drain because of his addiction issues, putting all the blame on him. Good or bad, my frustration with Cat Williams comes from you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one you point. You were the guy. Yeah. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You f promo shoots. You f off your promo f uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped. Why was he a risk? He chose Oh, okay. Take responsibility for what you chose and say, you know what? I got to fix me and I'm going to come back and I'm going to stand up for comedy. It's wild how the industry loves to label truth tellers as crazy or jiggies, right? We've seen it go down with folks like Kanye, Dave Chappelle, and now Kat. Like, instead of hearing them out, they just slap on these labels to discredit them. The drama blew up between Kevin and Kat after Kevin went in on Kat like that, and Kevin probably forgot that Kat is not the guy you want drama with because he knows how to keep a grudge. Well, five years later, Kat finally got his chance to dish it back when he hit up Club Shay Shay, and man, did he unload on on Kevin. On that show, Cat didn't hold back one bit. He basically accused Kevin of kissing the behinds of big wigs in Hollywood, implying that Kevin would do anything for fame and power. Cat even suggested that Kevin might have crossed some lines just to climb the ladder, hinting that that dress stunt could have been some kind of humiliating initiation into the elite circle. But wait, there's more. Cat went in even deeper, claiming that Kevin's packed out shows were all smoke and mirrors. According to him, Kevin's never actually sold out of venue. It's all just a facade to make him seem more successful 
successful than he really is. And then just when you think he's done, Kat drops the bomb and straight up called Kevin an industry plant. He argued that Kevin's rise to fame was way too smooth, like he was handpicked and groomed for stardom from the get go. Without the organic growth most comedians go through. That's messy, but Monique took over right where Kat stopped and interestingly, she did so on Club Shay Shay. According to Monique, she and Kevin used to be close friends back in the day, but Kevin suddenly switched up on her after she got blackballed by Oprah and Tyler Perry. See, Monique had a major part in the movie Precious, which was produced by Oprah and Tyler. The movie was a major success, but it was a major red flag from the beginning. First off, she only got paid $50,000 for the role. And like that wasn't bad enough, after the movie was released, Monique and Tyler wanted her to go on a press run. However, they didn't want to pay her for the press run, which is not a normal procedure. But that's not all because they also informed her that she was going to have to pay for all of her press run related costs out of pocket. And considering that she was only paid 50k for her role, she would have been running at a major loss after taxes and all that stuff. Well, Oprah and Tyler didn't like being told no, and allegedly they went over and beyond to ruin Monique's career. Nobody wanted to be involved with her and she took a major hit. But according to Monique, Kevin actually went out of his way to act like he was going to be a real friend and stick it like he was on her side and promised to stick by her through thick and thin and stick with her even though she was already blackballed and was a pariah in the industry. She claimed that she believed him because he seemed genuine. But after all his promises, he turned his back on her and it was like she no longer existed to him. The worst part of it was that he wasn't even bold enough to do it in her face because he had other people do the dirty work for him. Then when he came back with, I got you. I didn't ask Kevin Hart to do anything. Well, Eddie Murphy is now throwing his own story into the mix and word on the streets is that Eddie also allegedly believes that Kevin Hart sold himself to the industry. He hinted at this very strongly in the movie Foolish where his character was asked to wear a dress. So what do you think? It's never been done before. Three lovable drag queens driving cross country, helping middle America solve its problems. Y'all want me to wear a dress? Foolish. This isn't a throwaway role. You'll be carrying the emotional energy of the movie. Man, it, it's, it's not that I don't appreciate the offer because I do, but... All we're asking you to do is to take the script home, read it, and make a decision. Then make the decision. There are also some unconfirmed reports from insiders about how Eddie allegedly agrees with Cat Williams about Kevin's suspicious rise to fame, hinting that he believes that there is more to the story than meets the eye. The insider also claimed that Kevin has also allegedly stolen roles and shows from right under Eddie himself. Fans commented, I haven't been a fan of Kevin Hart for a while. This story just proves more why. I knew that little dude was a snake. Monique called out Kevin Hart and this is why I never liked that gent. He's a snake among snakes. And the fact that everybody exposing how fake Kevin Hart is, is hilarious to me. He truly is a snake. But y'all drop your thoughts about this in the comments and then check out this next video.